Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do a really quick tip to get a point of view shot over the shoulder with a 360 camera. I actually learned this tip from National Geographic photographer Amy Vitale, and she calls it the humiliator uh, because it's very humiliating, but it's worth it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to call it. a lot of reasons to like this sort of like point of view shot. Um, it's a great way to incorporate motion into your shots or into your videos. Um, I know that that's sort of a taboo, but if you do it right uh, and you do it well and it's stabilized and it feels like a natural pace, you can actually do it and this is a great way to do it. Um, another great thing about this is it would be wonderful for over capture. It's great for um, just setting up your camera and forgetting about it, like if you're shooting 360 and traditional all at once. And it's also really great for getting a point of view shot without your face having to be front and center all the time, like if you're hand holding your 360 camera on a gimbal, um, which I know for me that gets somewhat annoying when I see my face all like in every shot. Um, so it's a really great opportunity to get away from that. So to do this, you'll need a few things, which you probably already have uh, at least an alternative to. Um, for me, I like to use the iFootage Cobra 2 Strike Monopod, and the reason I like this one is it's super versatile, so it's the one that I always have with me, but it's also really great because it has these um, detachable feet, and if you orient two of them at like horizontal about, um, it's really nice to fit in your backpack, sort of like, like this. Um, and it sort of pushes against your back and keeps it a little bit more stable so the gimbal has to do less work. And then the next thing that you'll need is your gimbal. I use the Moza Guru 360. Um, it's pretty affordable, it's like $300. And the reason I like this gimbal is that you can control it remotely from your phone. So if your camera starts to drift or something starts to happen or you want to orient it in the direction of like something interesting happening, um, you can do that with your phone without having to put your backpack down and like adjust things. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, and then of course you're going to need your 360 camera. Um, today I'm using the new Samsung Gear 360. Um, and then of course you're going Going to need your backpack. Um, it's actually really beneficial if you have a black backpack just because it hides the monopod and the gimbal a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to be using a black backpack today. And then it's also nice if you have stuff inside your backpack, which usually isn't a problem for me because I'm usually carrying extra kit, um, another jacket because I'm always cold, or other things like that. Um, and then another really handy thing to have is a zip tie um, because a lot of times when the uh, monopod is pulling on your backpack, it can pull the zippers apart. Um, so if you can zip tie the zippers together uh, or twist tie the zippers together, um, that just makes it so that it's a little bit more stable and you're less likely to lose something out of your bag uh, while you're getting the shot. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need to do is put your camera on your gimbal. This is like the one thing that sort of takes a little extra time with this gimbal, is just putting your camera on it. sure that your gimbal or your camera is oriented so that the gimbal uh, arm is in the stitch. So I'm just going to loosen it up there. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to add my feet to my monopod. And that's another great thing about the iFootage one is it's got this like nice quick release so it's really easy to like put in place. And then I'm going to put my monopod in my backpack. Like this is why you'll see that it's it's easier to have like extra stuff in your backpack so that there's less room for it to sort of move around and uh, be annoying. And then I'm going to zip tie this together. And I'm going to use the quick release here. And then I'm going to connect my gimbal the iFootage uh, monopod on the lowest setting. Um, if you wanted to make it like really tall, you could. Um, it's just up to you like what type of shot you want. Like do you want it like an overhead shot or do you want it like an over the shoulder sort of point of view shot? Um, that's just up to you. So now I've got it all set up and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera on and get the goods. is a really great way to 
add motion to your shots, give yourself a little bit more freedom to do other things with your hands, and get a really unique angle that you probably couldn't have gotten uh, with a different setup. So go out there, give it a shot, and let me know what you think.